Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is a bit different. Some of you had requested me to show the cookwares I use for cooking and many of you wanted to know the brands of some kitchen items I use. So I thought of showing a video on some items that I use very commonly in my kitchen for cooking and other. So let's start. Firstly showing my food processor. It's Philips brand. Food processor has a certain way of grinding the food, not similar way as of a grinder. So you can't get the exact result if you substitute the food processor with a grinder. Those who asked me the model number, here it is. Now that's the jar. These are the blades. That's for slicing. This is for grating. And this one not sure. I haven't used this blade so far. You keep the blades onto this. Now you keep all the blades onto this. That's used for chopping. If you want to slice onions or carrots or anything, keep the slicing blade onto it. Cover the lid, turn on the food processor, add the onions or whatever and push with this and you get the sliced onions or anything at the bottom. Similarly, if you want to grate the carrots or beetroots, do the same way. Keep the grating blade onto it and push. Now that's used for chopping. Along with this food processor, there's a blender too. You can remove the bottom part, so it's very easy for cleaning. So that's the food processor and the blender. Now this is my grinder that I had bought recently. In my kitchen tour you might have seen a different one. It wasn't well enough for grinding rice. So I switched to Preeti brand. This I got from Lulu for an offer price. That's the model number there. This has got three jars. That's the smallest one. I use this either for making ginger garlic paste or any other masala powders. That's another jar, slightly bigger one. I use for grinding less quantity. Now this is the biggest one among the three and that I commonly use for making idli, dosa or any upper batters. This is my Philips kettle, 1.7 liters, steel body. This again I use very commonly in my kitchen. That's a stand for it. And here's the model number. Now this is one of my pressure cookers. This is a big one I use. It fits in large quantity. The brand is Falpro stainless steel. That's a whistle knob. If it's onto this side, the pressure is locked. And if it's onto the other, it's released. And that's how you open the lid. That's a washer inside. You can see the capacity, it's 6 liters. And it's heavy bottom. And this is the other stainless steel cooker. It's butterfly brand. It has thick bottom. I used to cook in aluminium before, 
but now switch to stainless steel and i no more cook in aluminum nowadays i have only these two cookers and i very commonly use these in my cooking earlier i used to think cooking in steel pressure cooker would burn the food at the bottom but nothing like that i have never experienced anything such so far now these are my clay pots i have already seasoned these before bringing it to riyadh my mother does it for me this is a very large clay pot i have got i use this when i have to cook in large quantity this is a small one i usually make fish curry in this there are many traditional ways to season these clay pots one way that i know is that you can add enough starchy water after cooking rice and keep it for one day and then you can start cooking in it there won't be any mud taste now this is a clay pot that i use most of the time i make most of my lunch curries in this pot i love the shape of this so these are the clay pots that i commonly use in cooking now these you have been seeing in my videos all the time this is a set of 3 i bought this from carrefour quite a long time back this is a pan you can see the back side it has changed the color this doesn't have a lid this is another one it has got a lid there was a button on top that's not there now this is a bigger vessel that's a lid there was a knob there the lid fell once and the knob came out on to the steel cookers that's my steel pot in which i cook rice mainly i bought from kerala during last vacation i haven't found any of these types here that's why i had to bring it from my homeland i clearly don't know the capacity of this it has got a lid too these are other steel cooking vessels i got this from ikea few years back this is the smallest one it doesn't have a lid This is slightly bigger to the previous one and it has got a lid. Now this is the biggest among the three which has thick bottom and it has got a lid too. Now this is a very big heavy bottom steel vessel I use for cooking in large quantity. I bought this from Carrefour. The reason I'm using most of them steel is to avoid using non-stick and aluminium. I can't completely avoid non-stick because for some like frying fish, using steel for frying may stick to the bottom. But I try to stick on to the steel and iron kadais for most of my cooking and even clay pots. This is one steel pan I use for deep frying. It doesn't stick to the bottom. This is very good for deep frying. The inside part has gone a little black even after scrubbing. Now these are my iron ones that I use for cooking. This is one small one I have. I just washed and cleaned it. So let me show you again how I store it. I use coconut oil in most of my dishes, so I like to spread some coconut oil. You can use any of your choice. Spreading it all over. Then I keep it inside a plastic cover just to avoid any dust sticking onto it. This is my appam pan. Now that's my big iron kadai commonly used. There will be oil when you take it out from the cover, so I clean it well again before starting to cook in it. Now that's my steamer. It's not of any particular brand. I got this from Nesto over here in Riyadh. I don't remember the exact price but it's less than 50 riyals. I have shown this quite many times in my video especially iftar recipes. I even steam rice in this. The color has faded a little. I had an aluminum one before so just shifted to steel one. That's where you put in the food for steaming. That's a glass lid for it.
Now this is my idli steaming vessel, top line. I bought this from Lulu. My aluminium steamer that I had told earlier included idli set too. So just to change to steel one, I had to buy an idli vessel again. The only drawback I felt of this is the last stand will have water on it after steaming. So I don't pour idli batter onto the last one. This is my puttu maker. I have shown this earlier in one of my videos. Do check the recipe for that. You just add water into this. Then add the flour into this. Then steam placing this on top of the boiling water. This is my idiyappam maker, a breakfast of South India. I haven't done any idiyappam recipes on my channel, so shall try it soon. But I commonly make this at home and for kids stiffen too. This I bought from Kerala quite long time back. This is used for making muruk or chakli and I have a recipe on that. You add the dough into this. Now that's my roti flattener. I mainly use this for patri or the rice roti. You might have seen in my earlier videos. Now these are two casseroles that I have. This is a smaller one. And this is a bigger one. I use when I have guests coming over and I need to prepare in large quantity. That's chef line from Lulu. Now some of you had asked me about my knives. This is my first knife that I had bought as soon as I came here in Riyadh. It's broken here. This I bought later. It's a lightweight one. The black is quite heavy comparatively. I don't know if this is of any known brand. That's a brand written there. Now this is a bigger sized one. Again of the same brand as of the yellow knife. I use this for cutting watermelon or for cutting any non-veg like chicken or beef. Now this is my knife sharpener. I need my knives always sharp before using it. So before beginning any cooking, I always sharpen on this. Now some other items. That's my lemon squeezer that I bought from Max Lifestyle section. It's very lightweight but sharp enough at the tip. Now these you might have seen in my kitchen tour, my measuring spoons, 1 tablespoon, half tablespoon, 1 teaspoon, half teaspoon and quarter teaspoon. Then my new measuring cups recently bought, colorful ones. Every time I use the white ones, so when I measure milk or sugar it's not clear in videos, so I bought these colored ones. 1 cup, half cup, 1 third cup, quarter cup and 1 eighth cup. Now this is the white one that I had told. I used these earlier in my videos. You can see the cup measurements there. Now these are my commonly used spoons and spatulas. This holder I bought from IKEA, stainless steel. This is a wooden one with all the wooden spoons. This holder came along with 3 or 4 wooden spoons and I added my other ones to it. This is my wooden chopping board. I use this most of the time. Let me show you how I clean and maintain it. Add some salt on top. Rub a lemon on it. Same over to the other side. Then wash it and then wipe the water off. 
Then add some olive oil on top and spreading it all over. Same way onto the other side. And that's it. I don't do this every day, only once in a week. Now that's my cooking range. It has got 5 burners so it's very convenient for fast cooking. It's very helpful when I have guests coming over so I could do many dishes at a time. That's the oven underneath. I haven't used this part so far. This is Haas Deluxe. Then what I use most of the time is my dishwasher. It's LG brand. And it's very convenient when you have large number of dishes to be cleaned. It cleans in one go. Some dishwashers has got three stands. Here I have two. There's nothing complicated in its operations. This is salt to be put inside this and it lasts for almost three months. When the salt is over, it blinks over here and you know it. Now this is a drainage. If there's any food particles remains after the cleaning, it catches into this and you need to just throw it away. Then two fans that spray water. Here you put the powder. And over here you add the rinse aid. That's a liquid. Once the rinse aid gets over in the dishwasher, the light over here blinks, same as the salt. So you just have to fill this with the rinse aid. The powder has to go in every time you use the dishwasher. Just half teaspoon of powder is enough. And over here is all the buttons required for the cleaning. If you're just loading top part or just bottom part, there's half load option. There is a child lock option and even extra hot water option. So that's for all the necessities in my kitchen, some common ones. There are many others, but these are what I use very commonly. That's for today's video. Hope you liked it. If so, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon for my updates. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.